Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My dear students, Assalamu alaikum. In today's video lecture, I shall tell you that what is a descriptive essay and how can you write a good descriptive essay. Let's first have a look at the proper definition of a descriptive essay. An essay that describes an object, a person, or a place, or an experience, idea, or emotion is known as a descriptive essay. To describe means to show. In a descriptive essay, you show in front of the reader an object, a person, a place, an experience, idea or an emotion. Let me now tell you about the goal of writing a descriptive essay. The aim or goal of writing a descriptive essay is to provide the readers with enough details about something to be able to understand that fully. Another goal of writing a descriptive essay is to paint a picture to get an idea about something. And you use sensory descriptions using the five senses to create an image of something for the reader. Let me now tell you about the layout of a descriptive essay. A descriptive has, essay has an introduction. You start your essay with an attractive thesis statement. The very first sentence of your descriptive essay is known as thesis statement. There may be any background information related to the topic on which you are writing. Secondly, your descriptive essay has body paragraphs. Each paragraph must have a topic sentence, which is the first sentence of every paragraph. And topic sentence is related to sensory details and actual details. All the illustrations must be very attractive and worth reading for the reader. Then your essay has a conclusion. You wind up your descriptive essay by giving a summary of all the main points. So it was all about a general layout of a descriptive essay. Let's have a look at the things that should be done before writing a descriptive essay. Firstly, you must do pre-writing. It means that you should take time to think, choose and plan about your topic. The second step is to make a draft. You make an outline to show by involving five senses. The third th thing to do before writing a descriptive essay is to plan your writing. You remember that you are showing not telling the readers about something. If you are telling about something, it means your essay is no more descriptive. It becomes narrative. You have to show something in front of the reader to make your essay a descriptive one. Then you revise your essay, which is when you review, modify and recognize your essay and you find out the problems are the things which you have done wrong in your essay. Okay, let's talk about the steps for writing a descriptive essay. The first step is to choose a topic. You focus on a single thing about which you want to write. If you are appearing in an exam or if you are given two or three topics, you must choose a topic of your choice. Very, uh, you should be very clear about your topic. 
Secondly, you create an outline. You list the topics that you want to mention in your description. Thirdly, you create a statement which is a thesis statement in the introductory paragraph sets out your topic framework. I have told you earlier that the thesis statement should be very interesting and attractive for the readers. Fourthly, you get the senses right. You need to give descriptions by using five senses. You may use metaphors, simile, personification and other figures of speech also to make your essay interesting. On fifth number, you should review your essay. Once you have completed writing, read your essay, analyze it critically and rethink either your description is making an image in the mi reader's mind or not. And lastly, you finish it up. You read your essay carefully and check it for grammar, punctuation or spelling errors. And your essay is done. Here is a sample essay descriptive, which is a descriptive essay. And the topic is spring season. We, should, we will be talking about descriptions about spring season. Here is the first paragraph. Look at the thesis statement of it. The king of seasons, as people call it, is the spring season. You, you would have noticed that this th thesis statement is very attractive. Spring is relaxing and comfortable after chilly winters. People feel sick due to chilly weathers in winters. As soon as the spring season arrives, a cheerfulness and happiness can be seen on people's face. The earth wears a green dress. It comes to life again. Everyone enjoys the charming beauty of this season. Now this is our first paragraph which is the introductory paragraph of our essay. See the second paragraph which is the body paragraph. We shall be explaining uh, or putting forward the images about the spring season in front of the readers. The feeling of spring all around is friendly. Now we will be talking about uh, the feelings of spring season. The weather is so fine, neither too cold nor too hot and the fresh breeze blows gently against one's face and makes one relaxed and happy. Nature appears in its best form. It provides us with all kinds of pleasure. The second body paragraph is the tall green grass and the leaves on the trees sway breeze. Bright or pastel flowers can be seen around. You can notice that we are using sensory details. We are uh, using the five senses. Sensory de uh, details means uh, using five senses or one or two uh, of the senses. So we are using the sense of sight in this paragraph. Swarm of bees rushed at them to their essence to make honey of it. Butterflies of various colors fly here and there. The days are bright and sunny. The sky is a beautiful landscape, blue with little clouds. The sights of spring are worth seeing. We are using the sense of smell in the next paragraph. The smells of the spring season are widespread in nature. The air is fresh and full of pleasant aromas of different flowers. When you are walking in the fields during springtime, your nose catches a mixture of smells that really increases your strong love for nature. You can see that how sensory details are used to create an image in the mind of the reader. This is the last paragraph and we are winding up our essay. 
In short, spring is the best of all seasons that give comfort and ease after a long spell of winter season. The life comes to life in this refreshing and soothing season. I hope you have understood that how can you write an interesting essay. Now I want you to practice the following. I want you to describe your favorite book and explain what you like about it. Thanks for watching. Take care. Allah Hafiz.